Hey guys, Gamer Gold Gamer here. The Trick Magic competition is finally here, so I thought I recorded myself just playing the first couple matches. Um, it is Thursday night, so I didn't actually know we could play matches already, but um, late Thursday night they're already allowing us to play some matches here in the US. And I just thought it'd be kind of fun to jump into things. Now, before we go into some of the battles here, I'm going to go for a team preview. I will leave timestamps in the, the video, so if you don't want to watch me going over this team preview first, you just go ahead and jump into the videos. You can go ahead and do that too. So this is the team I ended up settling on. Um, I definitely think that speed, again, is going to be a huge, huge part of this tournament. If you guys saw my uh, team building video and the tier list I did on the last video, um, I talked a lot about speed, and that's because ghost type Pokemon are going to always be weak to other ghost type Pokemon. Um, and I thought that speed is going to play a huge role in this tournament. So we actually have the three fastest ghost type Pokemon. We have Dragapult, we have Fluttermane, and we have the Spectrier here on our team. Um, and that's mostly just to be able to kind of um, be able to pace with those Pokemon when we see them on the other teams as well as just being able to like have that speed control so um, I'm also running Choice Scarf on the Dragapult just to be able to speed tie other Choice Scarf Dragapult and outspeed other options outspeed the Booster Energy Fluttermane I do have the Booster Energy on the Fluttermane here to be able to go up against other Booster Energy Fluttermane and get that speed tie here um, and then we're also max speed on the Spectre here, just to be able to outspeed some of these other fast ghost Pokemon. I, I feel like there's probably going to be a lot of Gengar and a lot of other Pokemon that we might end up seeing too. And so it's nice just to kind of have that speed control against those Pokemon. And then the other big thing we're going to see a lot of is like a lot of priority. There's going to be a decent amount of offensive ghost type Pokemon that are going to have the Sucker Punch, which is going to be a little bit frustrating to deal with. Um, and then we are going to see a lot of Pokemon too with Shadow Sneak. Um, so having some options for that is going to be really good as well. I definitely thought that the Hisui and Zoroark is going to be kind of a given for me with that normal ghost typing. It's just going to be so good against tournament against all ghost type Pokemon. Hopefully we can bait out some uh, ghost type moves too with the Hisui and Zoroark and just play, play, play really well from there. I think it's also the only ghost type Pokemon with knockoff too. And I think that knockoff is just a really, really good option against the Mimikyu, which is going to be another really good Pokemon because of that disguise ability. Uh, so just given that free turn to either set up or drop a curse or however we want to play it, it's going to be really good. Um, so I just, I, I'm really excited to use this team. We have the uh, Cassette Berry on the Spectrator too to be able to live ghost type hits. I think that's going to be kind of sneaky since one of our biggest threats against that Pokemon is going to be Pokemon using Shadow Sneak. We might be able to just catch a Pokemon off guard um, and with that berry and then it might give us the opportunity to get up a nasty plot and sweep from there and then we can go Terra Dark too if we really need to. Um, we just have some really good options. We have the Terra Normal on the Flutter Main here so that we can just kind of set up against the Golden Go, get some Calm Minds up, or against other Flutter Main, and against other Special Attack and Ghost type Pokemon. So I think that's going to be pretty solid there. Uh, I have kind of a mix set here on the Mimikyu, which is going to be kind of interesting. So we can either go Sword Stance and try to just get um, some sweep potential here with the Shadow Sneak. Um, or we can drop down curses and just try to stall uh, with curse and protect. And the uh, thing I really like about having protect on it too is we're going to be able to bait out some terror types hopefully. Really be able to see like what they're running if they're trying to avoid that um, shadow sneak. It's going to be really good for us as well. So I definitely think protect is a pretty good option here. We also have to protect on the Sableye, um, which I'm really excited about. Um, the Sableye is kind of a fun set here too. I really wanted to focus Ash Pokemon, so I ended up settl settling on the Sableye. Um, and I also like the Sableye too. I either wanted Sableye or Spirit Tomb because we get that dark typing too to be able to kind of just resist those uh, Ghost Type moves for that neutral damage. Uh, so I thought that was going to be a really good option for us. Um, and then the Metal Burst I thought was going to be kind of sneaky too. Uh, so we might be able to go in against a Pokemon that got fully set up, whether we go up against the Golden Go, go that gets some Nasty Plots up or some Skeldurge after it gets some uh, Torch Sons up or even a set of Fluttermane. Just kind of catch him off guard with that Metal Burst here, um, living with the Focus Sash and be able to return that damage. Um, and then we can also drop a Confuse Ray on it too. Um, if we can go one for one plus, it'd be kind of nice. And so I thought that'd be a really good Pokemon for us as well. And uh, who else here? The Dragapult, we have a little bit of a mix set, which is kind of nice. Um, the reason I, I put a hint of special attack into it is so that if we go Terra Dragon and we go up against Skeldurge, um, dropping that Draco Meter on it with that unaware ability is going to be really, really nice for us. Um, it gives us a pretty high chance to get a two-hit KO on him, um, which could be a pretty difficult threat, I think. I'm expecting to see quite a bit of uh, Terra Normal Skeletors as well here. So I don't really know too much what to expect. I try to plan uh, to have some counters against some of the biggest threats that I could imagine people are going to be running in this tournament. But with any further ado, let's jump into some battles here.
it is it is pretty late. I don't know how many people are gonna be playing right now either. So it'll be interesting. Look awesome. We already got a match here. Um, I'm not expecting any U.S. players or any English players to be playing right now because it is is very very late. But all right. So a lot of the common Pokemon I expected to see here. We do see the Hisuian Zoroark. Um, so we'll have to be mindful of that as we choose our team. Uh, Mimikyu is going to be a little bit annoying to deal with again with that disguise ability. Uh, we do see the Fluttermane here. Um, I may be expecting a Focus Sash on the Sarah Ledge. Um, that's a Pokemon definitely I was considering running too. Definitely not worried about the Annihilate here. I don't think that's going to be too threatening for us. Um, and who do I want to lead with? I'm thinking that Zoroark might be a really good option. We're pretty good against other Zoroark too, even if they want to drop out a, a Dark type move because we have that Colber, uh, Colber Berry. Um, so I'm going to leave with him. I have to be mindful what Pokemon I want in the back to, to try to bait out a uh, move. So I think I do want the Fluttermane here eventually. I think the Fluttermane is going to be really good against their Fluttermane. It's going to be really good against Annihilate um, and some of the other options. And I'm a little bit worried about that Sarah Ledge coming in with that um, Shadow Sneak, be able to set up uh, Sword Stance and kind of play from there. Um, it'll probably have the... Uh, Destiny Bond as well, so I have to be very, very careful with that. Who do I want to use? Who do I want to use? I think I'm going to use... I think I'm going to bring Sableye. We'll, we'll give Sableye a shot here. Um, worst case scenario, we're going to be speed tying Fluttermane um, as their fastest Pokemon. Then we'll have to play around that priority a little bit. So, I don't think Sableye maybe wasn't the greatest choice, but we'll just kind of see how this plays out here. I do want to see how it does, though. I think we can definitely catch a Pokemon off guard with that... Um, Metal Burst, which would be kind of fun. So, could be a nice little option here. Alright, now are they booster energy? They're not. They could be specs. They could be specs, or they could just be playing on a speed tie with the natural speed. Um, that is pretty good for us. Um, or they could be Choice Scarf, sorry. Um, we are obviously Zoroark here, so I'm just debating on how I want to handle this. It's going to hurt. It's definitely going to hurt to take a hit from Fluttermane. It could be the Zoroark, too. And because we didn't see the booster energy, I'm almost thinking it is the Zoroark. So I'm actually going to throw out the knockout, uh, the knockoff here. In the hopes that it actually is Hisuian Zoroark. It's the Fluttermane. Okay. Yeah, so that's going to hurt. That's going to hurt us for sure. Should have gone for the Shadow Sneak. Um, didn't, know, didn't know what to expect there. Got a little bit risky. Um, this means we can set up with our Fluttermane though, which would be really, really good. And then we'll just keep kind of keep that Sableye in the back door um, as, as hopefully an option there just to take out one last Pokemon. So we'll kind of see how this goes for us. Um, if they had priority, that could be a little bit difficult. Um, but yeah, we should be able to set up on this guy pretty easily here. Hopefully he will just go for a Shadow Ball and we can set up a Calm Mind. Let's see how this goes here. Yeah, I'm thinking. I'm thinking Sableye wasn't the best bet there too, and I did, I wasn't. I wasn't sure. It's gonna be really, really tricky with those matchups with the Hisuian Zoroark. Whether they're gonna be bringing it right away, whether they're gonna bring it in the back. Um, so that's just gonna keep us guessing too, which is just gonna make things a little bit more difficult for us. But we will get the Calm Mind up here. I am thinking that he he's not choice scarfed. So what what move is he gonna go for? Memento. Interesting. Annoying. Annoying for sure. So, off to kind of a bad start here. If I had just gone with the Shadow Sneak, um, we could have definitely had some momentum. Kind of took a gamble there. Um, hoping that it was going to be the Hisuian Zoroark. Um, what's that going to mean for us? So, we have a little bit of a special defense, and then we're a little bit down right now in our special attack. Yeah, we do see the Sarah Ledge coming in here. Hmm. I'm expecting a Terra. Maybe Terra Normal. If he sets up here, this could be a really, really good opportunity to catch him with the Sableye. And I figure I don't have much to lose at this point. We're in kind of a bad position here anyway. I'm not expecting a Shadow Sneak, so I'm hoping he just goes for Sword Stance or something like that. Just have to wait and see. Yeah, so we do see the Sword Stance. It's really, really good for us. That's kind of what I was hoping for. Um, now is where it gets a little bit risky. Um, he could just set up another Sword Stance. Um... I could use Protect. I could use Protect and just see what he goes for. I think I will just scout it out with Protect here, see what he goes for. Okay, and he does Terra. So that's another reason why I really wanted the Protect here, is just to kind of be able to scout out Terra types uh, against this other Ghost-type Pokemon. 
Um, going for that Terrifier, just going for a little bit boost of damage, hopefully on the Bitter Malice, um, or whatever that move is. So, um, that could be really, really good for us. I'm hoping we kind of just catch him off guard and then maybe be able to play with the Fluttermane against our last Pokemon. Poltergeist. All right. Fascinating. Fascinating. I think this will be good. I'm hoping he just goes for another one here. Um, so let's go for that Metal Burst. Uh, and I think we're kind of setting ourselves up to maybe get a little bit of a comeback. Fingers crossed. All right. So we see the Bitter Blade this time. That is totally fine. That will bring us down to our Focus Sash here. And hopefully we'll be able to take this guy out with the Metal Burst. I know Sableye doesn't have a ton of hit points, but um, we're max hit point invested, so Metal Burst should be doing a decent amount of damage. Awesome, he doesn't even have the Focus Sash too, which is gonna be really, really good for us here. So, making up a little bit of lost ground. Now we can drop a Confuse Ray on this next Pokemon, uh, and they can't switch out of it, which is gonna be really awesome for us. Eh, who is it gonna be? Hisui and Zoroark is the last Pokemon. That's, that's kind of wild. We should be able to handle that pretty well with the Fluttermane, too. It's going to have that priority. If it has Sucker Punch, that could be a little bit problematic. I'm tempted to go for another Protect here and just see what it does. I don't want it setting up on us. Let's go for the Protect here to see if it's running priority. Alright, so it's a special variant. That's really, really good for us. Um, and I, I, I could see it maybe trying to run like like a Shadow Sneak just for some priority, but since it's a special variant, I'm feeling pretty good about this here. I'm going to go for the Confuse Ray. Awesome, we're going to be able to land this. So we have some hope here. We have some hope after all. Again, I don't think I chose necessarily the best Pokemon here, but Sableye is definitely doing work, which I love to see. Um, and I'm happy I get to use the Sableye on this team too. I actually just got the Shiny couple days ago in Pokemon Go, and I wanted to use it, but I wasn't sure about running Sableye in this tournament. Awesome, so that's going to do its job, and then I'm just going to use Taunt here, and they just forfeit. Awesome. So we win our first match, a little bit clutch there, had me had me a little bit on the edge of my seat, but that went pretty well. Um, I think we'll do one more, one more battle here and just wrap things up for this video, um, and I definitely plan on reporting quite a bit more for this tournament too. I've been really, really excited for this. I think it's a really fun idea. I hope they do more of these kind of like special tournaments in the future. Um, but it was it was a lot of fun planning for this one for sure, especially with it being all ghost types. Um, just having that weakness too. I think it'd be fun to do like an all dragon tournament at some point. I think that'd be a really, really cool one too as well, especially with terror types. Alrighty, who do we see here? Basque Legion, Golden Go, Sableye, Mimikyu, Sarah Legend, and Annihilate. I'm not worried about a lot of these Pokemon, to be completely honest. I think that Fluttermane, again, is going to have a lot of potential here. I do like leading with the Zoroark. Um, it's just a matter of who do I want them to think I am. I almost think that we're going to run the Mimikyu, too. That could be potentially pretty good for us. The one thing I'm worried about is the Basque Legion in the back. Um... We might want a little bit of a faster option for that. And that's where Dragapult could come in and put some pressure for sure. Ooh, how do I want to handle this? Thinking. Curse could be nice, too, against the Annihilate. Curse could be nice against the Annihilate. Um, if I wanted to handle it that way with the Mimikyu. And then we're going to get some priority with that Sarah Ledge. Spectrier could be kind of nice, but we struggle with that priority. Kind of want something that's going to be a little bit better against the Sarah Ledge. Or do I just bring the Sableye again? You know what? I think I think we're going to bring Fluttermane, and then we're going to have the Mimikyu. Make them think that we have the Disguise right away with the Hisu and Zoroark. Um, and just kind of see what they play with from here. No Hisu and Zoroark on their team, so we don't have to worry about that this time, which is going to be really, really nice. Um, if they lead with Mimikyu, that could be good for us. I do like using Knockoff on Mimikyu, so that we're knocking off their item and breaking their disguise in the same turn. Um, we'll have to just kind of wait and see, though. So, we see the Annihilate first. We can definitely play around that, for sure. I um, think he's definitely going to try to break our... How do I want to handle this? 
He could go for ghost type move here. Um, because he can't hit us with the fighting type move anyway. See, that's why I don't, I don't understand people brain the Annihilate. I just don't think it's a very good matchup. Um, do I want to set up a sword stance though? Be greedy. Or I could just use Memento right away. You know what? Mm, I'm thinking. Let's set up a sword stance here. This might not be the right play, but... Going for that rock too. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. That probably makes him faster than us too, doesn't he? But we have a really good tight matchup against the Annihilate. Do I do it? I'm going for another Sword Stance here. I don't really think there's anything he can do. Ooh, Stealth Rex and Rock Zoom. So he's just kind of a lead Annihilate. Not too worried about this. Yeah, we're setting ourselves up pretty nicely here. We have a really, really good tight matchup against this guy. So, um, immunity to both its stab, stab types, which is going to be super, super nice for us. Do we just go for the Shadow Sneak? I think we do. I think we do. I want to see how much this does here. Beautiful damage. Gonna get a crit. Okay, that makes sense. And we see a Focus Sash on it. So, it might not have been um, that much damage without the crit. It's hard to say. Um, it's a pretty bulky Pokemon, um, but we did have that super effective hit. But, gonna be able to take it out with another Shadow Sneak here. Not too worried about it. Those rocks are going to be a little bit annoying, um, but it's really, really good that we didn't bring the Sableye. That's definitely going to be something we're going to have to be careful of going forward in this tournament, is that's going to be a good hazard setter. Um, isn't a lot of Nihilapes. Not that I think rocks are good by any stretch of the imagination, but I just think that that's just going to be something that's going to kind of cripple Sableye. Um, that's something that we really don't have an answer to, so um, we'll just kind of have to run different Pokemon to handle that. Sableye is an interesting option here. I don't really know what it's going to do. Um, how much health do I have? Hmm. I'm gonna have to do something about that overlay. I'm gonna I'm gonna get rid of that so that you can actually see. You actually see my hit points. I'll work on that. I kind of threw that together in two seconds. You know what? I think I'm just gonna go for a shadow. Ooh, is he gonna tear a? I'm gonna go for a knockoff here in the hopes that he can't knock me out. He doesn't usually do a ton of damage. Set up that rain dance, so he's definitely just gonna try to set it up for his Basket Legion to come in and sweep me here. Uh, I'm gonna take him out. That is totally fine. Uh, Basket Legion's gonna have that Aqua Jet. He's definitely gonna have that Aqua Jet, which is gonna be a little bit annoying to deal with. Um, so. Yeah, we're gonna go for the Shadow Sneak either way. And that should just take us out here. Yep, that Aqua Jet. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. I wondered if we were going to see any bit of, uh, like, rain support for Basket Legion. And it's running the Life Orb here. That is not horrible. That is not horrible. I have a couple of ways I could handle this. And I think I know how I want to do it. Is Curse going to be enough with that Life Orb damage? Because what I'm thinking is I can use Curse and then Protect switch and they come in and protect and i have the shadow sneak let's go ahead and let's go ahead and um go that route i'm feeling better about that route um power play i protect a waste one return of the rain and get some health back too from the, the rocks damage we're gonna see that terra here which is gonna be really good for us He's going with that tear normal. Yeah, so we won't be able to Shadow Sneak it, which is a little bit unfortunate. Um, but definitely still dropping that curse is going to be really good for us. Um, yeah, yeah, I think I think we'll be okay. I think we're going to be in a good spot here. I 
I do like it. It's a good idea. The the rain and the Basque Legion uh, for this tournament for sure. I do I do like that, but um, I don't know. Some of these Pokemon that these people are choosing are just I just don't think they're it for this tournament. Annihilate especially. Just gonna have to be a little bit careful with that uh those that, those rocks. This should do some beautiful damage. So I think I think we have a really good plan here. Oh yeah. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And then we switch and protect, and I think that's a win for us as well, so. What are we at? 20 minutes? Yeah. I think we'll call it after this video. So, pretty good start to the tournament. Uh, should be two easy wins here. Um, first one definitely had to make me work for it a little bit, but getting some good intel, kind of seeing what people are running right now. It's about what I expected. Um, I just I think that speed support that we have on our team is going to be so so good against um, those matchups too. Thankfully we haven't had to deal with any like super fast teams yet. Um, we'll swap into Fluttermain here, and then we'll just go protect at that last turn. So awesome, feels good though, feels good. I've been in a lot of these online competitions in the past where you just get one really rough battle. It just kind of sets a bad pace to the whole thing. So definitely happy about the the start to this, and we're playing at kind of an awkward time too. I'm half awake right now, so. Definitely happy about the way things are, are, are going for us in this. See that last respects. Yep. That's totally fine. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. That curse is really coming into play here. I'm not like a huge curse person either. I, I think it's it's fun to use. It was really, really good against Skeldurge too when they were super, super annoying to deal with. And then they started running Substitute to handle all the... Uh, Fissure that was going to be used by the Don Dozo, um, which used to be a really good counter for it. So, but it's definitely a good move. Definitely worked out in that that situation. So if we can catch um, Pokemon, that could be a really good way to handle those um, Basket Legion teams too, or any like Houndstone teams with that Sand support. So. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for watching. That was a lot of fun. Um, planning on uh, recording quite a few more episodes too for this tournament. So, um, I think with any, without any further ado, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Thank you so much for watching.